never mind that. I get a thought in my head, and uh, it's real to me. I can just ignore it, though. Or I'll try not to. Uh, uh, bother me. I get, uh, this is an older house. Strange people have lived here. I'm one of them. I'm still here. Mm. Mm. <sighs> so, we had ourselves our Thursday night men's closed discussion meeting. Of course, it wasn't a men's only. <clears throat> Sometimes happens. A random woman shows up, not realizing it's a men's only meeting. And uh, we've, we, I don't think we've turned away anyone yet. Um, if anyone has a problem, then, you know, they can, you know, I don't know. We haven't turned anyone away yet, but no one said anything but one guy he said something by leaving he wasn't gonna uh, be the one man or you know stand he wasn't gonna disagree but you know because you know he's got his you know he, he, he maybe that was his way of just being like okay well I have no idea I can't read I'm not him so I can't say but he left, and he didn't come back, and she stayed, and, you know, she just sat there, she didn't contribute, you know, she seemed appreciative of being let to stay, but uh, what she got out of it, I don't know, but she got a signature on a piece of paper that said that she was there, so, and she didn't cause a commotion, and she didn't, you know, so she wasn't a disturbance, and no one else seemed to mind that she was there, and no one really, uh, uh, behaved any differently because, oh my gosh, there's a woman there, oh, you know, I really don't care myself, it's like, recovery is recovery, recovery is about recovery, it doesn't care about gender, it doesn't care about ethnicity or background or uh, sexual orientation, it doesn't care about any of those things, religion, politics, uh, addiction and recovery, <clears throat> they don't care, you know, it's, it's a disease of a diseased uh, society or mind or whatever uh, so I don't know it a gender difference uh, meetings I, I, I don't know but apparently it does matter to some people and maybe it's a holdover of a different time or a different culture where men felt that Men can only talk about manly things in a men's me I don't know. I think it's kind of silly. But uh, I think a lot of things are silly, including myself. I try to take myself less seriously. Because I can, you know, I'll just go off on things and I'm not too proud of it, but, you know, it's part of me. So. I can't deny that it's, and it's like, psh, so it's all me and I can own it. I don't have to like all of it, but I don't know. Am I in a better mood having been to a meeting? Dang it. Yeah. And I felt alone there for a good portion of it because a lot of people, the majority, they were not, you know, alcohol is not their problem. They never had a problem with alcohol. They're not there because of alcohol. Um, they're because they're, you know, remanded from, you know, the court systems. They have legal obligations that they have to be accountable to. And uh, not all of them are there. <clears throat> they uh, um, are putting on a show. And I can't say who is, or how seriously they are, or how bad things are, but it sure feels like they're just, you know, giving off the impression of, you know, it's like, you know, trying to make us feel better about ourselves, because 
you know, uh, I, I really can't say. But uh, I smell something off. And it doesn't, it's not good. And it's, it feels like deception and double talk and um, just saying what people think they want to hear. Not what he actually thinks, but saying what he thinks that other people want to hear for some reason. Like, it's helping us that he's there to make us feel like we're... I don't like being fooled or, you know, anyway. And anyway, and everybody has something to teach. That's the thing. And it's like, I'm not the only one that, you know, he has, you know, we're all the same. We're all each other's peers. None of us are any better than anybody else. And, uh, um, so if he's not telling the truth or being completely honest, um, he is, his, he is the victim. He is his own victim. Um, he's not hurting us. He's hurting himself. And it, it can, it can hurt my feelings to like watch him, watch him hurt himself. Um, just like I'm sure anybody watching me hurt myself in any way, you know, whether it's just emotionally or, you know, talking bad about myself, you know, at least I've gotten a little bit used to it. So I can kind of, yeah, I know, I know. It's like, I know better. It doesn't stop me though, you know, but at least I do it in the privacy of my own home. What? That doesn't make sense. But, uh, I don't know. Mm. It feels like something, you know, I don't know. I still don't like that sense I've got. Um, things are happening, and I don't know what they are. And I can just hold on. Ow! I just got to take it easy. Move slower. Be more careful. And tonight was about, uh, well, it was about one thing, but, you know, that's not what I wrote down. Yeah. I don't know what it was about. But, um, it became about uh, how everybody has a voice and everybody has a right to be here. So, it's not up to me. I don't decide. And anybody that thinks I have a vested interest and like somehow, you know, like I'm in communication with their judge or their lawyer or their institution, that I have some insider knowledge and I'm on the payroll or something that, uh, you know, I'm taking my notes. No, I don't take notes. What? I don't even know. I mean, sometimes, like, the first 45 minutes of the meeting, I just, I don't know, they were just talking. And I just, because I don't know anything about what they're talking about. I don't have any personal information about, you know, experiences that go on like that. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's just not my story. And uh, I don't want it to be part of my story. So I, I mean, I have my stories already enough. And it's like, I don't want any more of my story, and I don't want any of their story. So I'm like, I'm okay with mine. So I just let, they just, I mean, I, I wasn't going to stop them anyway. It's like, not my place. I mean, technically it is, but I, I'm not going to say, like, I know any better. That, uh, oh, well, you guys can't talk about this. Don't talk to each other. Maybe that's how other meetings operate, but they've left me in charge of this one. And that's not how I and letting things go you know uh, I don't speak for the program I am not um, it's like no no that's not my job it's not my responsibility to save the world and I'm that's not I didn't get sober to do that 
I got sober to, you know, find a way to live. Because the way I was living was not living, and I wasn't getting anything out of it, and I might as well have just not lived anymore. The way I was living, I might as well have just have not lived anymore. Just get it all done with, be done with it, just be done. Because it wasn't living. And there was nothing worth anything there. There was no, there was nothing going on up here. And it was just a futile life with no point, no purpose, no potential, no future, nothing to say. It was an ending. It was just a matter of time. An ending in the making. So, I can't, I can't hardly do anything wrong nowadays, unless I really try. I have to try to do stuff wrong. I can't help but do better things nowadays, because I'm trying. I'm trying to be a benefit. And if I start to feel like I'm being a detriment, then that's when I back off. It's like, I just, it's like okay, I'm not doing any good. Um, I'm confusing the situation. I'm complicating the situation. That is not my intent. I will just go away. And maybe that's something that's, you know, what's supposed to happen. And it's like, people don't want to hurt my feelings. And they don't want to be rude. And they don't want to be impolite. But uh, that is what I'm supposed to do. Is just go away. You know, it's like, you know, it was nice, you know, but, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. People are being, maybe people are being too sensitive. You know, trying to, you know, they don't want to hurt my feelings. So, they're being sensitive. And it's like, sensi sensitive and uh, sentimental. Um, and sincere. Sincere sentiment for the sensitive. And it's like, I appreciate it. You know, you'd think I'd be able to, like, handle my own emotions, but I don't have much experience with them. People give me credit for having had experiences with feelings and give me credit for having had a, a history that I don't have. It's just the kind of the, the truth of the matter is I don't have these, I don't have any background. I don't have uh, any experiences to base things off of. I feel things with no history of feeling them. And I don't even have words. And it's I feel a lot of things and I don't have any frame of reference to attach them onto. I just feel kind of blindly. And I have no words or metaphors to describe. And they're just, and it feels very, um, I don't know. So, it just feels like, you know, just a little bit of blind. So, it doesn't stop me from trying. But it also doesn't stop me from, you know, making a fool of myself and, you know, not understanding, not comprehending. It's not on purpose. You know, and so it's like I get frustrated with a lot of the, the people in recovery for, you know, of course, I mean, the only difference between me and them is, uh, you know, I've been doing this for a while and I've got practice. So, I've got, you know, my understanding based on a whole lot of practice. And I'm highly motivated to, you know, keep up with that practice. But I'm doing it on more of, you know, my understanding. My terms of my understanding. Because I'm the one that's actually there and doing it. There's no one else there. I am the one. It's like everybody else that was there before me is, is gone. Where did they go? They've just left it in my hands. And it's like, I'm the one that, it's like, it sounds like I'm complaining and whining. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. But uh, this is what they get. 
they've left it in my hands. And it's like, I will, it will take on a reflection of me in my understanding. If, if I guess they've accepted that. I mean, it's only Thursday night, and it's, but uh, I'm shaping minds. And it's like, that's not good. Don't we need some more account? Like, somebody needs to, you know, so. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly harmless. And maybe I have a, a good perspective that people just, hey, even if he doesn't, you know, you know, he's telling it from his perspective and, you know, he's telling it honestly. So it's like, you know, there's other things at work. And I don't need to understand it all. But apparently I'm doing okay. But I need help too. You know, people think that I just magically got everything and uh, that I'm okay. That uh, I'm, my confidence is so great that you know, it's like, I don't, like, I just, somehow, just keep showing up and, and, good to go, out of nowhere. And no one understands why. Or they don't care. Because I don't talk. Or I talk enough and people have a sense that I've got this. But, uh. You know, I don't got this, and it's like, it's like I need help too, and uh, you know, I get so focused on everybody else that I forget about myself, and I don't mean that to sound like oh I'm so uh, altruistic. Um, no, I'm a, I'm kind of a, a selfish person, um, just like the next person, but you know. But I forget that, you know, it's like, I'm in recovery too. And I can get here by accident. I didn't just pop out of the ground and, like, ready to run with recovery. And it's like, I tell my story enough that you think, you know, I don't know. It's like, I'm overly melodramatic. And it's like, I'm already just falling into myself. Yeah. I don't really have, you know, you know, I try to talk to people, but uh, it quickly just disintegrates and goes, I don't know. And then I just feel like, uh, I should just go, you know, and people just, they're fine with it. They. You know, everybody just kind of goes home, and you know, then I come here, and and it, I guess it's okay. So I guess, you know, I kind of wonder: is it this is fun and all? You know, this. But uh, is this just a novelty? That was the word I came up with earlier today. I was thinking about this. I was like, is this a passing novelty that I'm enjoying? Um, it passes the time, keeps me entertained, keeps me safe, keeps me engaged, keeps me talking, keeps the conversation going. But is it just a passing fad, a novelty, something that's just, hmm, or is this something I'm going to keep going? You know, because I can only keep so many things going. And uh, what am I, what am I doing this for that, you know, I'm not doing elsewise? You know, I mean, as long as this is something that's, you know, as long as it's helping me, um, then I guess it's okay. But as soon as it feels like something I have to do, then it's like, hmm, then it'll probably be something I take a step back from. And so it's like, right now it's, it's just me, but I just got to be a little bit careful because if I take on too many things then I start to not that I am you know, 
gotten pretty good about that. And, uh, you know, as soon as I feel threatened, it's like I start to really seriously evaluate. It's like, okay, what am I doing again? Why am I here? So, hmm. I don't need to stress myself out any more than I'm already stressed out. And especially when I'm injured. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I, I guess I just feel alone. That's probably a lot of it, you know. Misunderstood. Alone. And it, it's like, it's not for lack of trying. It's just uh, in the recovery circles. Um, it's like, I just don't have many people uh, that I feel, you know, travel in similar circles. Or, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just don't have that, uh, I don't know. Intuitiveness, connectivity. So, I've tried to, you know, uh, meet people halfway, and maybe they've tried to meet me halfway, but there's just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just a bit different. And people think they understand, or they try to understand, but I don't know. People have never really met me before. They think they've met me, but they've never really met me. Because I, I just, I guess I, maybe I don't know how to be met, or, or maybe I have. I don't know. But uh, once again, apparently I like talking like this. So. That's probably not good. Hmm. I don't know. It's been an interesting experience doing this these past two weeks. It hasn't been a bad experience. It's been worth doing. I've got something to look at should I ever want to revisit anything, even though I'm not leaving a description about any one, what any of these contain. It's just a progression of conversation and me staring at myself on a tablet and it's like, yep, yep, there's that guy. He's doing that thing. Why? So, why not? What else is there to do? If there's something else that I'm supposed to be doing, I don't know what it is. This is much more engaging and enlightening and entertaining than um, a lot of the other things that I, you know, it's like, you know, I could just, I could be watching some YouTube. And also it's like, Especially with the writing. Ow! I'm gonna watch with the moving of the hand. I hurt myself. So, anyway. Yeah, I guess I should go. I keep creating this little safe space. And it's like... It feels connected. And... The, it doesn't last very long. And it's like as soon as I, you know, hit stop and then start uploading, you know, it's like, it feels like I've done something. I don't know what that something is, but I feel a little bit better, a little bit less alone. Just for having added something out there that wasn't previously there. And, uh, you know, it didn't exist before, you know. 
I had the nerve to open my mouth and start talking. So, what does it all mean? Hmm. Philosophers have been debating all these questions for, well, since people started looking up at the sky. So, I'm not going to solve anything. I'm not that smart. No one's going to solve these things. That's the beauty of it. That's part of the beauty of it. Is that all these questions, we're not meant to know. So, it's part of the human experience, I guess. Asking questions that have no answers. Or if they have answers, they're much too beautiful for us to grasp. And if we think we have the answer, then we've lost something. Because it's part of the majesty of all the unknowns that are better left unknown. So, mystery. Okay, I gotta really stop thinking about that now. Oh my gosh. Sneaks up on me. Just don't pay any attention. Yeah. I swear. Hmm. Ah. I can't even. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just I get this sense, and uh, I don't like being watched. Or observed. And I know it's just. I'm, I, I'm going to have to go. Um, I wanted to have something else to say, but this is just... I've said something. Okay, yeah, I've got to go.